Hello and welcome back to another second installment of Virtue for VTubers. Now we're going to go over the other parts of this, which is the avatars. And if you click there where the avatars, you can actually import your VRM or connect to Vroid Hub. Here it shows if you click the plus, you can uh, connect to Vroid Hub and you can see under the Yours tab, it's all of your avatars that you have created. There is also for uh, liked and under public, public avatars, <coughs> and avatars that you have hearted within Vroid that you might want to use for VTubing. Importing from your PC or your phone is super easy. All you have to do is press the plus and find your VRM. This is the TikTok Insta like feed and the editing the profile is pretty cut and dry. Uh, you can link your socials and uh, bio, just like Twitter or Insta or TikTok, as well as upload photos uh, or videos that you have created out of Virtue. Here is the tab for creating a room. This is, I think they're working on this. Um, you can have only one other person with you, but uh, it seems to be an interesting thing to try. The notification bell here allows you to see when you have likes or if um, your follow how many followers you have or new follows or comments. And here <coughs> you have access to giving feedback to virtue. I love this part because you can name three things you love and three things you hate about virtue or things that annoy you. In the settings tab, you can see up there that it shows my face tracking on the top left. And this is uh, regarding shaders and things like that, that you might be messing with in Unity. Uh, as you can see, this really has a lot of different options and it's definitely something worth taking a look at. This is the changing of expressions again, and I always like to leave you guys with a smile. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, how you feel about virtue, and if you end up using it. Thanks for watching!